Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Valencia Car Show. Behind us is the Mazda 2 and uh, this is just a petrol. Now the new hybrid uh, is actually Yaris, so uh, from Toyota that's just rebadged. So we're gonna check the original Mazda 2, so without further ado, let's just jump into the review. So ladies and gents, uh, once again in front of us is the Mazda 2, the original design uh, that was sadly in the hybrid Mazda 2 replaced by a Toyota GR. I think it's in the background there, but uh, I'm going to show it in the end of the video, just in case you don't know it. Uh, this is the Mazda 2 that's also now available on the North American market, so USA and Canada. I'm not sure about uh, Mexico. I think they already maybe had this design because they have some European uh, models. But this is the beautiful Mazda 2 and, of course, Mazda um, red color. Not sure if it's cherry red, but it's definitely gorgeous red color from Mazda. I forgot from top of my head the name. Let's come a little bit closer to check it out. So we have beautiful uh, sharp lines on the top of the hood. We have beautiful daytime running lights. We have the lens. We have a bulb for the turn signal and there's also a little bulb there. Maybe like a, another position light or something. Don't know from top of my head for this one. Maybe it's just a little reflector but definitely looking nice. And then we have this uh, gray metallic finish uh, on the edges of the air intake. We have a little chrome there, uh, washer nozzle, and also uh, this is unpainted plastic on the bottom of the air intake. You can see that. Actually, this is really open, so hmm, might stone chips might hit that, although it's at the angle. Now, this has fallen down. They use uh, this double tape. Uh, I actually placed it back and put a pressure on it, but it just, you know, it doesn't stick on. I think like another car fell off, but into there. Uh, air intake on the top and then the classical badge. So this is obviously not holding. I'm not gonna attempt anymore to do. So um, it's a little funny. Uh, red detail here is probably one of the packages. I forgot the name, same as the CX-5 there with that green detail. There was one package that had that green detail and some air vents in green, the others don't. But definitely beautiful looking small city uh, hatchback. Now checking the alloys. So this might be like 16 or 17 inch, it's got shiny. 185-60R16. Black alloys looking nice. Mazda badge and beautiful lug nut covers. Just another look at this beautiful red color. Now, checking the dash, we have speakers close to the A pillars, and we have the light and rain sensor, lane assist camera. Now, I'm not sure for the radar. I think I haven't noticed the radar on the front. We have black side contrasting mirrors, turn signals, and a little wind deflector there for less noise coming from the side mirrors. Now, checking the side profile, looks nice tinted windows on the back classical Mazda door handles we have physical cylinder on the driver end black shark fin antenna discrete spoiler on the back look at the rear so we have the drum brakes but they're black so they kind of blend in well regulations fooling there okay this is locked in Japanese cars anti-theft measure there's always a, like a lever inside and checking from this angle because the other one is well blocked by the CX-5 there. We have the beautiful design on the Mazda. So this just looks like a bulb inside, not LED. This might be LED, but looks quite nice. Mazda 2 signature and Mazda badge. East Sky Active G. Checking the back end, it does look sporty. And I know Mazda fans like this car and not the new Mazda Hybrid. A little gray finish on the diffuser with a red tip just above the exhaust pipe. I think they could have put a prettier exhaust tip. Now, opening up here, I'm gonna back up so you can see the car in perspective. I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet. So that's the button, manual closing. Little carpet on the top that's good for soundproof uh, you have a shelf that can be removed so you have this rubber stopper so it doesn't ding and maybe you can put a longer umbrella here we have very deep 
storage room. So for a small seat hatchback, it's quite good. Seats knock down 60-40. On the left, there's a flip. You can turn on the light. And on the right, there's a room for a fire extinguisher. And underneath, you get a patching kit, perhaps. Also, you can probably spare, put a spare tire smaller dimensions, but maybe it's an option. So this is plastic. Step here, so there's like five fingers and then maybe 11 or 12 fingers of height. One finger is around two centimeters, in my case. Closes nice, you also have that big wiper on the rear, so good visibility. And that's a beautiful Mazda 2. I really like this car. So, good opening and closing sound. The rear doors are light, but good closing sound still. Um, okay, access, if you need to put a child seat. Good seals on the back going around, also seal inside. So you can see the color difference here, obviously, but interesting. Now you can press down to lock from the inside if you have kids. And so this looks like a leather, but it's just hard plastic. Uh, this one also looks like leather, so it's a good imitation. And the molding of the plastic, carbon fiber imitation, power windows, nice big handles, and this is textile, so this is padded. If you hit with your elbows, and there's a speaker there. Now we have cloth seats. These are quite warm for the winter, nice and comfy. Red contrast stitching. This is like a rough textile. Isofix is underneath here. And well, there's a seatbelt aligner, but you have to press here to lower down here. So you can see the cargo room and the back cover area. Let's jump inside. Okay, I adjusted the seat for myself. I'm a taller person. So, you know, I can fit on the back, but it's quite tight. So if the seat is more forward, there'll be more room. Or if a short person was sitting on the front, there'll be more room for me. Good closing sound, despite doors being light. And you have a little room here. There's one divider, but it only goes, you can see here. So that's it. And this is tall transmission tunnel, not too wide. The seats are super comfy, but I think it's comfortable for two people, maybe a short journey for three. So nice big window shrinking towards the end and big overview on the back because I have a really tall rear window. All three sides besides the driver have handles and on the back handles have those little hooks. So close up on that, adjustable seat belt. And you can see here, it's actually decent headspace. I'm a taller person, so for an average person, I think, you know, it would be okay, but you know, uh, roof is slightly going down. Now let's get on the front. So you need a little bit more force closing because the doors are light. So these doors are heavier on the front. Also excellent closing sound. Maybe I missed it, blind spot in the mirror itself. So front doors open wider. And again, good seals. Now, also hard plastic, but it looks like leather. I'm gonna switch this off because it's ringing because of the lights are on. And yeah, hard plastic, actually wait. Okay, this is hard covered by leather and then here it's padded softly so and this is hard plastic also maybe covered with leather or just imitating leather textile here that is padded nice big handles big ball area speaker and power control side mirrors you can lock the rear windows for the kids power windows but unfortunately only the driver end is fully automatic I wish they were at least fully automatic on the both front tire pressure and it's a brand new car, so they didn't remove this um, plastic protection. You can see the manual, so pedals there. You can pop the fuel cap and the front bonnet. We're gonna do that at the end or at the hood. Traction off, uh, lane assist or lane cross warning off. Uh, this is, I guess, start stop off and tire pressure set. 
steering column is here controlled manually. Push up to slide back and forward, push up for up and down, push up to tilt the top. Red con for stitching, textile again, and then rough textile. So comfy seats and a view at the top. Let's jump inside. Good clothing sound, decent soundproof. Switching to wide lens. Now we have a nice point of view and I can see the bonnet slightly. This is my eye level. Quite nice looking and because of the speedo there. So let me turn it back on, you can see that. And let's zoom back in. So this is the original Mazda 2 and you have the well a latest steering wheel. So we have a smooth leather but it has okay grip. It's a three spoke round and we have the SR, SRS airbag info there. So you have volume, um, voice commands, phone calls, info for the trip computer and cruise control or speed limiter. Here you have light controls, keep them on automatic and uh, wiper controls. So this is quite close to the start stop engine button. And you have these air vents closed open, air vent blowing to the side, defrosting the mirror in the winter, speaker there. So, well, this is all imitating the leather, but it's actually hard plastic molding. So, but it look, does look good because this was made in 2020, but when they were using hard plastic, they were trying to imitate the leather and it looks good rather than the new uh, cars. Now, we have a small display here. We have a hazards button and uh, air vents are there. So I'm not a huge fan of this piano black. Also has a little texture there, but it's awful. That's something I wouldn't pick. Uh, spacious glove compartment with allow when opening and closing. Heated steering wheel, heated seats for the front. Now, this is interesting. You have AC controls, but they are automatic. So you can choose, you can turn off the fan speed, you can have it on automatic, and then you can control it manually. This is pressable because there's close air insulation for the inside only. Then you have the AC. You can press to turn it on or off. If you turn it off, it's only ventilation. And then here you have at least approximately the degrees, which is nice. This is in Celsius, of course, in Europe. And then you have the automatic or you can choose the air direction front max blow press to the frost to rear on the bottom we have two usb a's this one's for phone connection and media you have aux you have a 12 volt outlet and you have a i think that's an sd card so this is 2010 uh, i guess so that's uh was used then it's inherited um, most of the new cars in 2020 plus don't have that. This is rubber mat, nice place to put your phone perhaps. Uh, we have a six speed manual. So it's nice and precise, short gears. So some people are gonna love that. Uh, and first gear is like the reverse. So wait, second, first. Oh, that's the first gear, maybe. No, this one doesn't have, oh wait, no, no, no. Press down, first gear, that's the reverse. I got a little confused there, forgot for a moment. First, second, okay. So that's pretty nice, and look at this. No piano black here, gray finish. Slightly in here, that's okay. This is leather, manual handbrake in leather. And then you have the classical Mazda. You can turn it up and down, sideways, you can press, roll. This was really fast, accessible infotainment there. Can't turn it on now, but because we don't have the key. But we have the home, navigation, music, shortcuts, back, favorites. This is just like a palm rest. And then you have volume control, press to mute. So that's pretty handy. Two cup holders. This is rubberized, not adjustable, unfortunately. I showed you this one from the another angle. And that's pretty much it. Uh, checking the top here, good overview on the back. Manual, if someone is blinding you from the rear. Have the lights, warm lights, physical switches, documents holder, and privacy mirror. 
Let's see if this extends. I don't think it does, but yeah, I have to test that. And head space on the front, plenty of headroom. I think the seat is in the lowest position. Yes, so that's it. I really like the classical speedometer. There's a trip computer on the side. You can see here, trip odometer. You can press here to reset it. Um, I don't have the key, but this was a classical old uh, infotainment, but still okay. Now, I'm gonna switch it off here, just to show you the both fuel cap and the bonnet. So great looking little hot city hatchback. This is the recommended 95 round minimum. And then the fuel cap, so when you uncap this, you can just store it here or here, I think, so it doesn't flap and scratch your clear coat. And then let's check what's underneath the bonnet. So just above the badge, a bit to the right, push to the right, you can see that. And here's your Sky Active G. I think this is a four cylinder petrol. The little thing is your washer fluid. You have to use a little leg if you want to keep it open. So that was the beautiful Mazda 2. So this is the original. Now bear with me, I'm going all the way to the new Mazda 2 hybrid. So there it is. I mean, this is obviously the Toyota think Yaris and honestly they just took the Toyota and slammed Mazda badge on it so just a little comparison this is if you want to get the hybrid I mean it's not bad but it just doesn't have Mazda design this definitely Toyota all over I mean it's a Toyota car so just a quick comparison space wise and cargo wise similar cargo now tell me in the comments do you prefer the Mazda 2 hybrid which I'm pretty sure if you're a Mazda fan you don't once again front end and then do you prefer the Mazda actual Mazda 2 this one so tell me in the comments below if you want to see more cars from Valencia Car Show do subscribe click the bell to get notified like this video if you like it leave a comment below if you like the original Mazda 2 and hope to see you in the next video stay safe see you in the next one bye